Well, all right, a small pile of work later, and this camera is focusing again. I had to take it all apart and clean the inside of it. Didn't know I could do that with one of these cheap-ass webcams. Turns out you can, so hooray. And I will show you a photo of the webcam I'm using, but you know what? maybe I can get it to actually face me. That'd be nice. So anybody who's been following along with this video shenanigans of mine knows full well that this is not a new issue. Like I always have some kind of video production issue. And it's mostly because I do not have the money to focus. I don't have the money to uh, invest in nice cameras. So yeah, such is life. Anyway, with this working... Have a good time. Stay safe while you can. Uh, and be smart. Uh, don't get overwhelmed like me. I am beyond overwhelmed. I haven't been able to get anything done outside of breathing. Breathing. If I, if I wake up, I'm feeling pretty good about things. So Have a good time. We'll see you next time. So upon reviewing that video, speaking of video production issues, I realized that a lot of it wasn't recording sound. I tend to forget when I'm messing around to set this microphone up uh, and the computer for some reason can't figure out that this is the microphone I want to use, not the one that I'm, yeah, that's why I don't use the webcams uh, as, as much as I can avoid using them, I do. Uh, now I'm in a situation where I'm indoors and I need to use them. So sorry about the lack of content. What happened there? was the cutoff mount for the angle grinder, which is a thing I'm gonna, going to, in the future, get back into working on the air gravers. That terminology still confuses me. So hopefully I can engrave one day. That's that's the big goal, and that was that big tool upgrade. And then my porta band uh, committed suicide, and I had to invest in a new one. So I went ahead and purchased the version one of Swag Off Road's Porta Band table. No, I'm not sponsored. But this is for the Harbor Freight. Uh, and their version one came, it was literally just came in a, in a package and I just bolted it on. Like that's as much work as it was. And I was real happy about that. This is a variable speed bandsaw, port portable bandsaw, unlike the last one, which long had died maybe eight years ago. I, the speed switch died. I don't even know. I've had that saw a long time. And I will say that I'm never going to get rid of that Milwaukee saw. Like I got it used and messed up from a guy who was in the pile bucks union, I believe. And that the thing was messed when I got it on a trade. And that thing has worked flawlessly for a decade, uh, right up until the rubber boot around the thing that holds the blade in place started cracking. And it was time to replace it. Now, I probably could have fixed it, but, you know, for the same price, I could get a brand spanky new Porta Band with variable speed. And that's what I did, uh, which just made sense. I don't think the Harbor Freight version is going to last as long as the Milwaukee did. But, you know, I'm going to get my hopes up. Raw, yay, hopes up. So anyway, sorry about the lack of volume and uh now we've got that fixed and then in the meantime this is just a video to get a video out there like really don't have a lot of information i've been working a lot without shooting videos like there's so much has been done it's impossible to correlate for me at the moment perhaps uh in the coming days i'll have some energy to get out there and shoot maybe give a proper shop tour or something like so much stuff has just been upgraded like i'm not the old shop that i used to be and and i don't miss it i don't care what anybody says i don't miss it um now it's the a much improved shop a lot of old tools were upgraded because they broke i you know if they hadn't broken i wouldn't have replaced them but they broke um so a lot of that a lot of of huge epic upgrades in the shop as far as Processing metal, cutting metal, go. Uh, traditionally, I only had this giant 10-inch chop saw. It was just a huge production to get out to cut anything small up. And that's what the, uh, I think in this video, um, that's what that little 
angle grinder chop saw thing is. It's just literally, I, I purchased it for processing small diameter round bar, probably not nothing greater than an inch. And that, that's kind of a deal. Again, I want to get back into producing the graving machines so that I can engrave one day. It's just, I just enjoy using those words. So, well, hopefully everything's good in your guys' worlds. And if not, well, then it's not. And there's nothing I can do about it anyway. So, have a good time. See you next time. Oh, please take a minute and like and subscribe. I always forget to say that.